Alright, over the last couple of days, a couple more things came in. When you're doing your swap, leasing the Mustang, you need to swap the oil pan, which means you gotta change a bunch of stuff. Your block's gonna have an extra oil galley or extra oil plug where the old drain plug or the old uh, dipstick used to be. Then you're gonna need to take and get a different dipstick, which I can't remember the part number, but that's the one they give me. It was only like 40 bucks or something like that. So, wasn't too bad. And this thing wasn't too terrible. I think it was like 11 bucks, 10 bucks. So, you need to do a few more things, but you do have to change your oil pan. I'm going to show you which one I got. That way, if you go to do a Fox body with LL swap, you don't try to put the truck uh, oil pan in. This is definitely not going to fit. Alright. I feel it's easier to show than try to this. <laughs> There is very, very little oil pan clearance. This one, I believe, is a Cadillac CTSV. It's basically just a low profile version, I assume. But uh, without doing this, your oil pan will be probably about down to here. There's no way it's unclear. It barely, barely clears now. So. Like I said, if you have a Fox body and you're trying to do a swap, you can buy a different K member and stuff. I was not trying to spend all that money. Then you got to replace the suspension, or you can buy the cheap ones that just use the old stock springs, which, that's stupid. The mother buy coilovers. But, I'm going to go ahead, try to go ahead and put the drain plug in. It's essentially just, almost like a bolt. Where y'all can see. Essentially like a bolt with like two rubber little odor eggs. I'm going to show you where it goes so I can actually reach in there. I'll probably the jacket up, but give me a couple of seconds. Alright, I got it modeled down there, but apparently reversing the headers is making the fitment kind of hard. So, I'm going to take the dead blow, tap her down in there. It, 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 it's spot might be fun. Well, like I got to pull it back out. It's actually hitting the damn starter. It's hitting the part tub tube so I'm gonna come up with something real quick so I'm probably gonna take a break for a few and I'll come back alright after bending it around struggling with it it barely fits I'm about to probably bend the tube a little bit so I don't hit the header the starter the spark plug tube so kinda gotta pick which one's more important but after taking a pry bar and actually physically taking this uh, down through, I believe, the second part blow two hole, hitting her down with the actual dead blow on the top that knocked the actual tube in farther because it would not go. I had it in there and it would not go. But oh, if I get in here, shit, it did actually see. Um, I don't know if y'all can see back there, but the tube is actually in the hole. I'm pretty sure y'all can't see that. But, believe me, it's in there. Stuff's tight, but it's going to work. Alright. I was going to say it was the wrong dipstick, too. But, I just, was just low on oil. You can see. It's actually, like, about halfway up. The cheap China tube was, like, 36 bucks or 39 or something of that nature. Definitely, if you're trying to keep it cheap, it wasn't a bad buy. I did have to bend it, and I'm more likely gonna take the tab that I bent the shit out of and actually bend it like back to like this bolt hole or to something convenient. That way, I don't have to use a zip tie. Alright, I first forgot too far. I went ahead and bent the tab. I just straightened it out. It wasn't gonna fit the way I hoped, so I just kind of. Bent it away from the header real good. Got it off the spark plug tube. It was close to the starter, so I went ahead and moved it away so it definitely won't ground out or something crazy. And I just literally zip tied it up here. It's through the actual coil pack bracket. It's kind of just through it so you can't really see it. But it's nice and tight, so nothing will move. So, at least one more thing off my list. I also thought before I get too far, the plug I showed you earlier, I went under here, 
I can't find the second hole. I don't know if my oil pan didn't come with a second hole. I'm guessing because it's rare sump, it don't have the second hole. I'm not a thousand percent sure on that. I believe my buddy had already bought the oil pan, or he already swapped it over. I don't know if you can tell, but it don't have the second hole. I'm assuming maybe he bought a odd one, or it's an aftermarket one. It's just dirty and kind of looked like a CTSV one. I guess I'll see what more I can do and kind of give you more information as I go. And I'm probably going to the video here, guys. Have a good day. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Have a good day.